Brother Roop here. We're in the book of Acts, chapter 15, verse 24. Verse 24. And this is the aftermath of the first church conference. And uh, if you like these little videos, go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell. Uh, they're only five to ten minutes long. If you're my subscriber already, thank you very much. I'm honored and privileged. So, book of Acts, chapter 15, verse 24. For as much as we have heard that certain which went out from us have troubled you with words, subverting your souls, saying, Ye must be circumcised and keep the law, to whom we gave no such commandment. There we go. That's basically... Uh, uh, after all these Gentiles were coming to the church because of the preaching of Peter, Paul, and Barnabas, uh, the disciples got together, apostles and disciples got together, a bunch of them, and decided what we're going to do with the Gentiles, and they decided to let Gentiles be Gentiles. And so the Jews were saying, hey, you've got to be good Jews. you got to be a Jew first and become a Christian. And uh, the apostles were saying, no, no, no. Uh, you can stay a Gentile. You don't have to be a Jew, then become a Gentile or a, a Christian. You go straight to being Christian. So, so, but, but you know, people who are born and raised in a certain culture, that doesn't die easy. That doesn't. That's a big change to make, and a lot of people can't make that change. So, a lot of Jews want to stay Jews, and they want to protect their Jewness <laughs> or their Judaism. And so they wanted to be Christians, but Jews too. And they expected other people to do the same thing. And it just wasn't necessary. So, for as much. That's a word not seen too, me, too much anymore. For, kind of, we, we kind of break it up into three words these days. But the, <laughs> not back then, man. They just pushed them all together. For as much, since we have heard, since we have heard, that's what that means, uh, that certain, that some, look at verse 1, refer to verse 1, uh, and certain men, if you go to verse 15, chapter 15, verse 1, and certain men, which came down from Judea, so, have troubled you with words. My goodness, we see a lot of that today, don't we? <laughs> Troubled you with words. Meaning with doctrines, that's what the meaning is with doctrines, different different doctrines they were coming up with. Uh, they had disturbed your minds and produced contentions. Then, then Luke writes, subverting your souls. And that's an interesting word, subverting your souls. Uh, in the Aramaic, it says agitate your souls. They agitated their souls. But the Greek word used, uh, the word here is used, occurs nowhere else in the New Testament. The Greek word. Uh, I'm not even going to try to say it. So. <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> it probably means to collect together the vessels used in a house, the household furniture, for the purpose of removing it. Uh, this word applied to marauders, robbers, um, and enemies who remove and bear off property, thus producing distress, confusion, and disorder. It is thus used in the same sense of disturbing or destroying, and here denotes that uh, they unsettled their minds, that they produced anxiety, disturbance, or distress by these doctrines after Moses. So basically, it compared it with uh, take, taking away household goods like a burglar would. <laughs> so that's what the Greek used to. And that's a, that's a good... Uh, 
That's a good word picture for it, anyway. Uh, to whom we gave no such commandments. They went, therefore, without authority, self-constituted and self-sent teachers, not unfrequently produced disturbance and distress. Had the apostles been consulted on the subject, uh, the difficulty would have been avoided. But by saying that they had not given them a command to teach these things, they practically assured the Gentile converts would that, that they would not approve of the course which these who went from Judea had taken. So the battle of the Judaizers and the true Christians uh, is just beginning, and uh, it will continue. Um, it will continue until the Gentiles uh, pretty much overwhelm the Jewish members of the church. Uh, the church is going to grow so fast, and the growth will be all be with Gentiles, uh, that the Jews will be far outnumbered here pretty soon. And then the, the Judaizers will just kind of go away after that. <laughs> so, <laughs> But uh, at the beginning of the church, at the very beginning, it was a contentious issue. And the apostles uh, picked the side of the Gentiles being Gentiles. So thank you very much and God bless you and see you next video.